Hello everybody and welcome to Game Maker Studio 2. I'm Etza and I'm really excited to be making this video today. So what we're going to do is we're going to explore the new Game Maker Studio 2. I'm super excited. I've already done it once, but Audacity crashed and failed to save the audio file that went with the entire video. So this time I'm using OBS built-in audio recording. So as you can see, we have projects. This is the two from the original that I made, so we're going to make a new one. Um, hit new. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that there's a drag and drop and there's a GML. In the drag and drop, you can use drag and drop functions just like before, and they're actually quite expanded and nice. And in GML, it um, automatically opens up the script editor when you make a new object. So we're going to go to drag and drop so I can show that off. Now, it's pretty cool because you can move things around much like, um, it's a lot like Unity now. That's the words of my cousin who told me that first, but I wanted to say that because it's actually pretty true. Kind of feels a lot like Blender and Photoshop and um, Adobe Flash. Um, so here we go, there's sprites, tiles, sounds, paths, script, shaders, fonts, timelines, objects, brooms, notes. I didn't know what that is. I don't have that. I've never seen that. Cool, there's notes. I like that. I use notes, patch notes, all those kind of notes. You can move workspaces around and other cool things. Right click create. Um, I'm a little bit more familiar now because I just made a 25 minute video about this. And this one's going to be a lot shorter because I am grumpy about it. So you can change the speed. You can change frames per second and frames per game, game frame. So those are separated now. That's pretty cool. On the side, you can adjust the collision mask and all that other stuff. And here you can see the um, origin box in the same in the same window as the sprite editor. So I'm going to open up the sprite editor and I'm going to draw a simple never before seen character um, that hopefully nobody recognizes. Um, I'm just kidding. I mean, if you recognize it, then good. Good, 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 good. All right, so we're going to do that. And I'm going to go over to the paint bucket and I'm going to fill it in. I'm not going to spend a lot of time making the ah making the character just because I want to just get something drawn so I can do things with it so here's this now this is done now I can go out of here go back to the workspace see this is the sprite I can close this and it's still here I can do multiple things at once now which is actually super cool so here's this here's the bounding box and the collision the collision mask can be adjusted right here it's pretty darn cool. Um, you can export the images, you can animate it, you can do whatever you want. Um, I can duplicate frames, anything that my art desires. Now, a cool thing is I'll go to objects and I want to create a new object. So now we're in a new object and um, so you can choose a sprite which is cool. So there's none or there's sprite zero or whatever you want. Um, I'm probably not going to do bad practice. Let me rename this real quick. So I'm going to call it uh, SPR player just because um, and I'm going to go to object, I'm going to rename the object, so this is OBJ player. And here's the event thing, so it kind of makes like a cool line. You can set parents, you can set physics, if I want to set parents, it goes like this. It looks really cool, it's nice and organized. Um, it's kind of like the, um, the uh, mechanism, or I forget what it's called, um, inside. It just makes new things. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, it's going to take a lot of getting used to. I'm not used to this at all. I'm, I'm kind of just in an awestruck, fascinated state where everything looks super cool. So we're going to go to add event. Now we're going to want to do the step event because that, that's where I do most of my work. And it just kind of keeps chaining across. Now this one has so many options in the drag and drop that I think it's perfectly viable to make a game in drag and drop. Which is kind of weird because I'm totally trying to move on to pure GML. But you do still have the execute code, which is much just like how the old one was. So I can do, you know, if keyboard check, um, and then you can choose check key, and it automatically puts you inside of the parentheses, so it helps you out. Um, I actually think I like this better than the other editor, and I was super afraid um, that it was going to be um, worse because they said that they revamped it and I really liked how the old editor was. But this one, um, this seems good. Um, I'm gonna do two more directions just because I can. I could probably do this a lot faster if I didn't retype it all. I know there's a, fa there's a much better way to do this, but this is how I do it off the top of my head. I know I could think of a better way, but this is the fastest way that I can um, just do it real quick off the top of my head. 
And I know f watching people code isn't all that much fun. See, this is what's going on inside of this step event. Now, I think... Can I add another step event? No, I can't. That sounds stupid. That was the stupidest thing I've ever said. I didn't know. I didn't know it's a different program. It follows a different set of rules. But see, as you can see, this is like this. Now, you can hold control and you can zoom in and out of that. Or you can zoom in and out of this. So you can literally... And you can move it around. So you can have this like crazy workspace going on and it's insane it's all futuristic and weird um so now you go to a room now this is some of the cool things um there's a room by default you have to have this room um you open it up now i forgot to say you can you can move windows around you can go like this oh you want this over here i could put this on my second monitor so you can't see it i could put the room separate the room i can put the room back i can i can pull things apart and make their own whatever right you can do whatever you want you can reorganize everything now i want to get my resources back now if i want to put a player in the room i can go to my objects and just drag them in there which i think is super cool um tile sets are also sprites now which is going to be interesting so let's hit play and let's see how quickly this loads up it shouldn't take too long and here's the player and we can walk right and walk left we can walk up we can walk down and you can walk in every other direction in between. This game's almost more done than the actual game now. So, how is that? Look how look how good that was. So we're running around. Now, let's go and let's make a uh, another sprite because backgrounds are not... From what I can tell, sprites are everything now. Um, we're going to create a sprite. Now, I want to use this one as a tile. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing here, so you guys can just ignore me real quick. Because um, I know that this is just going to look really bad. I just want to do this real quick. Really, real bad. Real ugly and bad. Can I get a bigger pen? I don't know. Yes, I can. Just kind of meh. Just kind of put in some different colors. Alright, this is one of the worst sprites you'll ever see, but if we go to tile sets and create a new tile set, we have to actually pick a sprite and you can just click it like that. Now this is a tile. The first tile does not count. Um, you have a brush builder tile set, auto tiling, a whole bunch of cool crazy things you can do. There's just cool things everywhere, so ta till the uh, main, I, I don't know, I, that's not how I name tiles. Go back to the room. Now we can go to the background, and if you look at this, they have um, toggles, so you can hide the objects, you can hide the background, you can hide the tiles, you can hide everything at once, you can lock the objects, you can unlock the objects. Super cool. So, I need to go to resources, I need to drag this tile set into the game. You can't do that. It, tells, it says no. It says, what are you doing? That's stupid. Um, but, if I go down here, and I look around, and I click on background, I can click new, add new layer. I can do it a tile layer. So now that there's a tile layer, I can add tiles. So now I need to find tiles. So here we go. Now I gotta find a tile set. This is the tile set I want. Now I need to get used to it because everything's in a different spot. Everything is completely different, but I feel like it's better in a way. So you can, you know, you can just do this, you can, do that. I don't know how to auto tile yet. I don't have that. I don't have that um, proficiency yet. But I can see that it's really well done. Um, I can, you know, see how, see how the first one doesn't count. It's because it's an array. But you can just you can just select all of them at once. It's super neat. Like I just think it works so well. Um, and I'm about ready to make the most complete Shadow of Dexel so far, just in this one video. So let's hit play. Now let's take a look at this. Um, now I can walk around on this crazy little island. I can't leave. I can't fight no enemies or anything. But look at this beautiful green island. Um, if you use the um, other mode, not, not the drag and drop mode, it goes directly into... Um, I'm rambling. Uh, let me close this out. I like how this is though. Everything seems really well, really well constructed. You can just have everything open at once. You have to worry about getting unorganized. The sprite's still open here. Everything's crazy. Everything is awesome. All right. I 
shouldn't have done that. What have I done? All right, so if I go back into the, I forgot what I was gonna say, object, for instance. Now, inside of the other version, the other mode, when you're not doing drag and drop mode, if I clicked on this, it would just open up a script editor. Um, instead of opening a window that opens to this, that opens to this, it would just go directly to execute code. So it would just be an execute code box. That's the main difference. Um, I don't know if you can switch back and forth. Um, I don't know if you can. I don't know what clean means. Um, there's a whole bunch of really cool things going on inside of this new game maker. You can also save and load layouts, which is probably something I'm going to work on next. Um, but there's just a whole bunch of cool things going on. I can just see, look at this, game FPS, 30, I can just freaking hit 60. Bam! This is awesome. I am excited for what is going on inside this game maker. So, thank you all for watching. And exploring this new Game Maker Studio 2 with me, and I'll see you guys next time.